Well, hello, YouTubers. How's it going today? Well, we're on the old Trailblazer. We're kind of fixing some things here, getting it uh, ready for winter. This is going to be my winter driver, it looks like. And i got to tell you, i got a lot of stuff done to it. Uh, it doesn't need a whole lot, but we're just kind of fixing some small things here, some uh, things that kind of annoy you the most. And one of the things are the old gas cap. Yeah, you go over here and you're at the gas station and take the gas cup off realize this is broken then you end up sticking it up on top of your vehicle or something you know and you put your gas in and next thing you know you go in and pay for it and you realize you didn't shut your uh, cap here then you got to do this only to realize your gas cap isn't on there and you drive off and uh, it falls off the vehicle and you lose it or you leave it on the gas pump well I'm going to show you there is a way to fix this here uh, take this piece here off and fix this Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and take a pair of needle nose and go ahead and get what's left of this guy here out. And this is where it's going to anchor into the cap here of the lid. So we got that off. And now we'll take our gas cap here and we'll kind of turn it upside down. Now, some of you are saying, why don't you just buy another cap and all that? Well, some of these caps are $40, so if you can uh, fix this, you're going to save yourself $40. I'm going to show you uh, how I typically can fix these. And if you're at a junkyard, you can find another cap like this. It's no good, and you can take this piece off. It's going to save you some hassle down the road in case you forget to put your gas cap back on after you fit, do a fill-up. Okay, so what we got to do here is uh, take a little screwdriver like this, and uh, on the back of this here, you can see this piece here kind of slides around like this. What you want to do is take your screwdriver and go ahead and pry this off like this. Now, it's usually easier to do it on this side. Just go over here like this and kind of pry it off like that. It may take a couple of times, but it'll eventually come off and just kind of slide it off like that. And the piece that we're going to replace is this little guy here. Now, I've got a couple of these I've kept over the years. I see this on vehicles a lot where these break off in the wintertime because it gets really cold. They snap. Next thing you know, you end up replacing these. So what you gotta do next is go ahead and take this piece here off. All right, so we'll just go ahead and pull this out of here like this. This kind of bends back like this and this little piece here snaps right out. And take your other one, measure it, make sure it's the same size. I already did this earlier, so we're good to go. And we'll snap this piece back in there like this. And once we get it in there, it'll, it'll click in there like that. And now we have a nice ring here we can attach to our cap and we'll simply just uh, slide this back onto the cap here like this and like I said should it should go on pretty easy You might have to push it almost if I can get this on my fingers We'll just snap this back on like this. Oh, and How about that? Now we have a nice cap with an attachment here that we don't have to worry about losing our cap now Let's go ahead and stick this on and before you do that make sure that this is flared open enough If it's not take a little screwdriver and go in here like this and kind of open that up a little bit and that way, when you put this back on, it'll stay in the little hole here. And we'll go ahead and stick this back in here like this. Push it back in there. That should snap. There we go. And now we have a nice cap here we don't have to worry about losing. And uh, that should really save you some money if you end up losing your cap. Forget to put it back on if you leave it on top of your vehicle. And while it's hanging there, if you do this, you're going to realize your cap is still off the tank so it's nice to have that back on there so there's all kind of little ways to save a nickel here and there and uh hopefully this will help you out and all that so uh happy i got that fixed and uh hopefully this will uh help you out saving you some time and a couple of bucks down the road so other than that thanks for watching and until my next video guys i will see you later have a good one